inside the Niger Delta. Glad to have you back on the program. If you're just joining us, it's Inside the Niger Delta, the authentic voice of Nigeria's oil-rich region. After issuing an order for a forensic audit of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, President Muhammad Buhari recently appointed a three-man interim management to oversee the process. The recent appointment, made after President Buhari has sent names of nominees into the governing board of the NDDC to the National Assembly, has since brought the presidency and the Senate on a collision course. Who will eventually supervise the proposed forensic audit of the financial transactions in the NDDC since its inception in 2001 is now a subject of debate in the Niger Delta, as correspondent Tekanami Ofori reports. Shortly after a transitional management was inaugurated to pilot the affairs of the NDDC, the Senate had expedited the screening and confirmation process of officials appointed into the Commission's governing board. At the end of the exercise, Senate President Ahmed Lawan asked the substantive board to immediately take over the affairs of the NDDC. What we pray for is for these nominees that are entrusted with uh, management of the NDDC to keep the trust, to discharge the responsibilities bestowed on them by the NDDC Act. We have to do our oversight. We must ensure that we remain alert as a, as a legislature because it is our responsibility to ensure that public funds are properly put to use. In her reaction, Acting Managing Director of the NDDC, Dr. Joy Nunia maintained that the Senators lacked the legal authority to decide who presides over the affairs of the Commission. She also made it known in clear terms that her team was specifically assigned to oversee the planned forensic audit of the NDDC. Mr. President, His Excellency, said that first he would act in um, compliance with the, with the act setting up the NDDC. He has directed that a forensic audit be carried out. And after the forensic audit has been carried out, he will then decide on what to do with the commission. While the planned probe of the NDDC, ordered by President Muhammadu Buhari, is generally considered a welcome development in the Niger Delta, there is a controversy on the lawful body feet to supervise the process. As it is often asked, should the responsibility be vested in a Joy Nunier led interim management or the substantive board that has been confirmed by the Senate? The President made appointments to the board and within that period kept the board in appearance and went and, um, and instructed for the uh, setting up of a management committee. The session can act as a pressure body to get the president to to a particular line but i think i don't think they have the power legislatively speaking constitutionally speaking to usurp the president's appointment or to do anything to thwart whatever appointment has made or whatever structure has formed it is purely an executive thing following the confirmation of their appointments members of the incoming board of the ndc would want to be handed the baton of leadership in the shortest time possible it however appears that they may have to wait a little longer if it is the wish of Mr. President to have the Commission's interim management supervise the planned forensic audit of the NDDC. The period of investigation is quite uh, long. Um, I mean, going by the mandates, I think, I think it starts from the beginning of the NDDC itself and uh, it requires some bit of thoroughness. It will take a long time. In the midst of the prevailing face-off between the Senate and the Presidency over the management of NDDC affairs, most Niger Deltans appear more concerned about the outcome of the planned probe of a commission that has failed to deliver on its mandate. As a matter of urgency, they want both parties to sing their differences and chart a new course for the NDDC and the Niger Delta. Inside the Niger Delta.